Hello there, my name is Mark Neal. I live in Dawson Springs, Kentucky. We was going to talk about a little seal shop that started up here at the house. I wanted to show you a couple of sawmill. A little workstation in here, you kind of put it around everywhere in there. Got the fridge in here, got the fireplace for the winter time, got plenty of food, uh, and uh, lots of stuff working on cedar. But today is not really about cedar. Today, we we're going to talk about products. And most of the products that were broken drill bit made in China. Come on in here, let me show you something. I guess, uh, you, come on in, come on in. You can stand right here. Okay, today's uh, ordeal is about things made in Japan. Uh, again, I started this out. I was going to do some things about cedar, but let's move this over here for today. Okay. When you, when you want to work on uh, products that are made in Japan, for instance, you got this old head off a of Poland mower, you know, Poland uh, chainsaw. That was a neat looking little old thing, but they're, they're kind of delicate. You have to do all kinds of different types of surgeries and this and that to get it right. And mainly, the way I fix these is if they're made in China, you have to very carefully uh, load it up in the in the vise, like so. You get it all loaded up and somewhere in there, you know, and you clamp it down real good. And like I said, you have to really, really uh, concentrate when you're working on stuff made in China. And um, what I like to do if it's made in China is uh, just take care of it like that. that that's how you fix stuff made in China. Okay? Just fix stuff made in China. Um, I got a real, real delicate type of uh, circular saw here. I was looking at some of the stuff on it. And you've really got to watch what you're doing when you're when you're doing the wiring on these. These things are kind of kind of complicated, but they're um there again, you know, things that are kind of made in China, you have to really, really do it right if you want to work on them. The, the, the main objective is to is to fix them. When they're made in China, you do them like that. And when they're made in China, that's what you do. But anyway, uh, then you got your uh, you got your uh, little steel here. Uh, wait a minute. Let's don't break that. Uh, <clears throat> Another product here. Now, I, I call this Olin Poland. Anyway, the every kind of Poland I've ever had, it, all the parts were Chinese, Japanese, this and that. They're, they're pretty good stuff. And you can get in here and get some of these good little parts out. But you put them up here and uh, you kind of get it right about right. You gotta put them in the back just about right to get this fixed. And uh, when you're fixing this, but again, it's still you know, made in China and everything made in China. You just have to give it a good. Okay. Now, now that that's fixed. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else do we do here? <clears throat> As you see, everything on my wall back here and all the stuff on the floor here is not busted up. It's uh, American made or made somewhere besides China. Anyway, this concludes my film today on. Uh, how to fix things from China. Bye-bye.